Hello, fifth graders. Welcome back to chapter two, lesson one of our ecosystem restoration unit. This video is going to be for activity four. So let's get started. We've been exploring the sim to observe where plants get food matter. If you missed the simulation or you forgot, go back to the video with activity three. Before we move on, we're going to answer the question, what is matter? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your Chapter 2 Lesson 1 activity packet, a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer question 6. So we're going to be looking at balloons. This balloon has water that has filled the space. So you can see by the squeeze that the balloon takes the shape of the squeeze and then bounces back when it is released. Now this balloon has air that has filled the space. So it kind of is doing the same thing. When it's squeezed, it takes the shape of the squeeze and then it bounces back when you let it go. Particles of matter and air are free to move around in space, which is why the balloon changes shape when I squeeze it. Now this balloon, I tried to fill with light, and this is what happened. So keeping these three balloons in mind, we're going to look at question seven. Do you think water is made of matter? Do you think air is made of matter? Or do you think sunlight is made of matter? These are yes or no questions, but I also want you to think why you think what you think. So why do you think water is made of matter or not? Why do you think air is made of matter or not? And why do you think sunlight is made of matter or not? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video now and answer this question. Okay. So now let's look at our matter chart that we have been filling out. So we can see that for matter, it starts with an atom, which is our smallest thing that everything is made out of. Then one or two or more atoms combined creates a molecule and molecules make up matter. So animals are made up of matter, plants are made up of matter, now, which of the three things we just investigated should be added to the matter chart and which should not be added? So remember, we're keeping in mind that we are looking at water, air, and sunlight. So which one of those three things should be added to the matter chart and which should not be added? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about your answer in your head. To answer this question, pause the video. So I will go ahead and add air and water to our chart. So these things are made up of matter. There are molecules that make up water and there are molecules that make up air, same as plants and animals. I am not adding sunlight because sunlight is not made up of molecules. This is the end of our chapter two, lesson one. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on lesson two.